All right, hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I am starting my 12 Days of Christmas extravaganza, I guess that's what I want to call it. Um, I, what I'm going to do is 12 different houses over a certain period of time, and each one of them will be dedicated to one of the 12 Days of Christmas. I have started us off on the inside of this house because I want to save all the awesome Christmas stuff for last. Um, so this is the entryway. Um, nothing really too fancy. I really do love this little cabinet. I, I really think that looks nice in an entryway. Um, and I think I've used it elsewhere in the house. Um, so I would see that. And the mirrors, these mirrors are amazing because they fit right up against each other. So I did a whole wall of them. I think that really kind of pops in the entry way, and I really, really like the way that came out. Um, and a couple of little lights on the on the bench there in the hallway. Um, and on to the kitchen, which took forever. Um, I did a lot of detail in here. I was going for something kind of... Um, Kind of vibrant, but in a mellow way, I guess is the way I would describe it. Um, you know, obviously somebody loves to cook in here. They love fresh herbs. So we've got a little wall going on over here with some fresh herbs and, you know, got some fresh herbs in the window and on the counter. So I really like the way that came out. I'm really happy with that. Um, and what I did here was I just floated some shelves up. If you don't know how to do that, you basically just take the um, garden paving slabs and stack them up as high as you want, you know, your first shelf to go, and then put the shelf on top of the paving slabs and then delete all these paving slabs, sell them off with your um, selling tool. And then you do it for the next one, stack them up to here, whoops, to here, and then sell them all out. And, and, you know, and that's how you can float stuff on the wall, which is really helpful in this game. I love it. It really helps you pull the rooms together, like, it's just amazing. <clears throat> and I'm really happy with the way this little dining area came out. Um, there wasn't a lot of room here. And so when I had the table in the center, it just really took a lot of space. And I thought if I moved it, I would lose some seating. But for the aesthetics of, you know, the game, <laughs> which is what I'm going for here, it, it, it's okay that I lost some seating because I was able to put in this nice little fireplace and some extra storage drawers over here so I could put the little poinsettia on top and on a Christmas. And, yeah, um, it, it came out really, really nice. Um, and, th and those decorations are on the outside. The stars and the, the other lights, they're on the outside, which I will show you eventually. Across here, it's just a garage. I have not done anything with the garage yet. That will probably be a surprise to you guys and to me, because I have not figured out what I'm going to do there yet. Up here bathroom, really tiny, I missed a spot on the tile, but I'm not going to worry about that right now, it's a tiny bathroom, but yet yeah, it still has its shower, um, and I think it's, it's okay to move around in here, I mean, personally, if, if it was in my house, I would think it was a little bit too small, but it, I used the existing room that was built out here within the game, I didn't knock any walls out, um, I could have extended it, but I wanted to do a really big library, and that's what you're going to see next. So the bathroom came out really nice. Um, I like the teal against the gray, and you know the little um, the little light up there, and the painting, and the sink being teal, kind of just it pulls everything together. This wall, I wanted it to be a little bit darker, but 
I didn't feel like messing with the paint. There is a way I could make it darker if I went over it, you know, with one stroke, but it takes a really long time because sometimes you'll accidentally do more than one stroke and you'll cover the paint and you don't want to do that. You want to just kind of put a faded coat of another color over this to change the color, if you know what I mean. And it's just really time consuming, so I didn't do that. Um, but I might make a, a tutorial video on how to do that. And the next, oh my gosh, this, I think this might be my favorite room in this house. Um, next to maybe the Christi Christmas room, which is down here to the left. But the library in this house just came out amazing. I'm so happy with it. I spent a lot of time. I think I spent more time on this library than I did in the kitchen, which is really weird for me because the kitchen is my thing usually. Um, but I was just really happy with the way this came out. I did the molding at the top and I kind of tried to make some sort of Roman column looking type of things. I played around with some paneling on them to see if that might enhance them, but I think the white paint on each one makes them stand out enough, and the fancy molding just really, really ties it together. Um, and then the bookshelves all the way up to the wall. What that is is just um, a photo that I got either from Google or from um, a Discord server uh, that someone had shared, and I just made it that size. And this, it took a while for me to get it right. Um, and the way that you do that is you just go into your tablet here and when you click on camera, you can click this and it will give you an area to add photos. I have a lot of them on here. Um, and you just add your photo here. But then when you go in to create a painting, you can, now it's usually on auto fit, which changes the height and width at the same time, which I really don't like. So I always take that off because I like to adjust my height and my width, you know, based on how I want it to look in the room. Now, it's really hard to judge right here how big that painting is going to be. So what you need to do is click on buy now and then you go in and kind of like match it up on the wall and see how big it is. Um, and then you don't have to buy it, you can just right click or you can hit the tab button again and it will bring you back into here. Um, so the way that I did the bookshelf, um, let me see if I can find the bookshelf on here, there it is. So you go in and you just, you make it really, really, really tall because you know it's going to be tall and then you don't want it to be too skinny so you want it a little bit wide and then you kind of play around with it you see where the red outline is what you do is just you kind of look at it and say okay um i want it to be a little bit longer and a little bit skinnier and so you just adjust the height and width until it fits in the area that you want it to fit in which I'm really happy with the way it came out in here. I mean, I just think when you walk in, it's just a really bright addition to this gray and white room, and it just really pulls your eye, which is kind of the whole point. I want the books to be kind of the focal point for the room, even though they're at the entrance. Um, and, I, and I think I accomplished that. Um, I kind of put the fireplace over here to cozy the room up a little bit and to really kind of draw everything together, the orange from the fireplace and the, the brown and kind of warm colors from the wood here kind of repeat the pattern of the books here. And that's why I chose the warm colored shades and the golden lamp um, and the gold outline on the clock and then the, the plants here with their golden um, uh, pots. So that's why I went with that kind of uh, design, I thought. It kind of all draws your eyes, so like even if you're sitting in one of the chairs, you're looking around and you're like, wow, this is so cozy, because the colors here still keep you in line with the colors over there, so it's not really stark over here. Like if I just would have had these little puffs there against the wall and maybe like the mirror or something, it just wouldn't have drawn the eye and made the whole room comfortable so fireplace books you know how can you go wrong in this room 
definitely, I think, my favorite room in the house. Um, I would spend a lot of time in here if this was my real house. So, super happy with the way this one came out. And I absolutely love these, these little recess lights. I just, I use them almost everywhere, in almost every house that I design. So, um, and then there's three here. I thought I put a light in there, but I guess I did not. Um, this I'm considering is a Christmas room. It's a sitting room. This is where I chose to put the Christmas tree. Um, and I kind of kept with the, the, de the decor of the room with the red and the black with putting uh, red on the tree and on the presents. Um, I really like this room when you first walk in because you see this awesome painting. Um, it's like a watercolor. I'm guessing like a poppy. Um, and I got this, I, I'm pretty sure I got this on one of the Discord servers from another um, house flipper player. I really should try to keep track of where I'm getting my pictures because people want to know this and I want to give people credit. Um, but I kind of centered the whole room around that photo because I, I chose the red couch thinking, okay, this is kind of a small, it's definitely long, but it's kind of narrow. And I thought, I want to make this the sitting room with a Christmas tree, so I want a sectional, but I don't want it to look boring in here, so I thought a red sectional. And then my plan was to have the white walls and then some, you know, red artwork to help the, you know, to help bring it all together. And so I found this and I was really super happy with it. I kind of wanted to make that not necessarily central because the Christmas tree obviously in this episode is very important, but it's in the center on the wall with the light on it. And I really think that it draws that whole area together and makes it really cozy looking. I would sit in that chair and watch my kids open presents all night long. You know what I mean? It's just really cozy. Um, and speaking of cozy, I love fireplaces in rooms because they really warm them up. And you want to remember that this is a Christmas type of room, so you really want to keep the warmth in there to suggest that it's cold outside. So I always have the fireplace burning when I'm doing a sort of wintry Christmas type of scene. I think it just lends a little bit of, you know, realism to it. So I found that and I decided to find some other pictures. Um, I think I just went on Google and you can use these um, kudos to whoever these artists are because they're just amazing, amazing photos and I would hang them in my real house, you know? So I think it came together really well. This is just out to the garage. I have not done anything with yet. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that room as well. I could see like a family really having a nice Christmas in there. So back around and upstairs. Now, um, I just did this today actually. I that's what I needed to work on was this um, hallway upstairs here and I finished off um, some of the the uh, landscaping for the garden outside, which I will show you. I am not done with that yet. I will update that, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss that, because I will be updating the garden outside, and it's just going to be stellar, I think, anyway. Um, so I kind of wanted to keep with the black and gold up here, because I found these kind of really chunky patterned carpets and I really liked them up here. I thought they looked really good with the gray paint and the black doors. So I thought, okay, we'll pull from that and do like black and gold lamps and some black furniture with gold plant stands. And I just think it really came out nice. Oh, there's that again. I just absolutely love that. And you can change the colors on this. You can change the color of the glass or the metal. And they're just really, really useful and versatile. I just, I absolutely love them. I adore them. Um, I used, I actually used a whole bunch of these in um, a garden episode that I did um, for a tribute to fall. So I might leave this as a, might leave that link in, in this uh, video as a, so you know, something you should check out because it, it was really a lot of fun. 
Um, and this, again, just a painting I found on, on uh, Google. Same here. And down in this area, I really, really like this, how this pulled together. Um, I was looking for a bit of a contrast over in this little dark corner area. I feel like I would sit here and read books, like, all day long. Like, just imagine. Just leaning back and reading some books, you know. I just think this is a really cozy little area. And, yeah. Um, so we'll go this way. This is the laundry room. It really didn't take me long, whoops, to lock myself out. Oh my god. There we go. So I didn't want to put too much in the room, but I knew I wanted to have like a really bright, colorful picture in here. And I think this plant really kind of helps that pop. And put a little bit more orange in, some yellow, and I like to stick with the gold um, to warm a room up. Put a nice little orange rug in here. And, you know, it kind of really all just came together. Um, and then I put a little first aid kit. And this is actually a food bucket. And I thought, hey, you know, that could be borax or, you know, something else used for laundry. So I kind of hid it back there. So it looks, it looks like it's, it's, it's used, but it's well loved, you know, it's not messy, unlike my own house. <laughs> so yeah, I was really happy with that room. And come around the corner here, this is a teenage boys room. I don't really do boys rooms all that often, just, I guess because I'm a girl and I don't really think about it. Um, but I decided, you know, I kind of try to give a house a family that's going to live there, you know. So I, when I'm playing the game, I kind of think about who's going to be living in the house. I know it sounds weird, but it helps me to figure out how I want to decorate. And um, this particular house, I kind of see this, like, single mom with, you know, maybe a 14 or 15-year-old boy who's obviously really into gaming and computer stuff. Pet fish, takes care of his plant, and the shelf up here, I kind of just started putting stuff on, and I found this hat, um, and I can't remember exactly where it is, it might be in supplies or equipment, I'm not really sure, um, but the camo hat, and I thought, you know what, single mom, 14 or 15 year old kid, this shelf up here is kind of like a tribute to his dad so just to add a kind of like a little background story for the people who live here i just i think that's really fun when i'm playing the game and it, and it helps me to to decorate in a way that i may not even think of um, when i don't create that little backstory so i was really glad that i found that hat and kind of pulled that little thing together because i feel like you know a 14 or 15 year old boy would definitely have something like that up there on his shelf, you know. And, you know, who knows what happened to his dad. I mean, there's there's your, your backstory right there. And you can make it whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, maybe they got divorced or, you know, he's still away at war or he died in the war God forbid. Something, you know, you don't... You don't really know, but you know this boy definitely has a place for him right up there on the shelf. So, um, yeah, I was really, really happy with the way this came out, too. And the way that bookshelf, the wall was already built like this when I came in here. There's kind of this, like, little piece of furniture there that I sold. And I thought a bookshelf would be really, really nice there. And each, if you can see, each one of these is one of those little book stacks. So it took me, like, a little while to get that all in there, but it was worth it, because I, I think it looks, it really kind of brings the room together, makes it kind of lived in. Alrighty, and on to, nope, I'm sorry, we went the wrong way, oh, yeah, I felt like this house needed a linen closet, so, voila, I built that out a little bit, and um, put one of these single uh, closet doors on it. This is just a photo that I found um, either in a Discord server or 
on Google. I'm not sure where I got this one from, but you just stretch it out and, you know, make it work, which, oops, I, just, I fell down the steps. Oh, that was weird. I can't do it this way, but it, it's very strange when you, if you go backwards when you're standing here, you can go, like, through the railing and land on these up and stairs. It's just insane. I, I, that happened to me a couple times today, and I'm like, what is that glitch? Like, am I falling through the bar backwards? Like, that would be virtually impossible. Anyway, that's my little linen closet. I'm, I'm happy with the way it came out. You know, it has all the essentials in there, and I, I threw this little hamper in there. Just to kind of make it more believable. Um, and... There's the master bedroom. I really wanted to do kind of a built-in closet area. I like the way it came out. Um, I wish I could have built the walls out a little bit deeper, but it just looked bizarre. I, I kind of really wanted to come out to like here, but it just looked really too recessed in, and I could have built another wall there, and it's just like I was already pressed for time, <laughs> so I didn't do that. Um, but I really like the green, and I kind of tried to tie that together by using this rug here and these beautiful Degas paintings. I absolutely love Degas. It's, they're just kind of cool, the green, and it's just really, really nice. And there's something else, you know, green, uh, from the green here, so I'm just really happy with that room. And my favorite room in the house, which is actually a bathroom. Nicest bathroom I think I have ever decorated this whole time I've been playing the game. I really like the way this came out. I liked the sink and the, the furniture that I chose, how they kind of, they're so cohesive together. And you wouldn't think because they're two different styles, but they really work together. They flow. They're about the same height, so I think that's important. <coughs> Excuse me. I was happy with the paintings that I found. Everything kind of warms up the room, um, every little detail, and this is my favorite part, um, is the built-in shower that I did with the zebra wood. It, it's just amazing. I would totally sit in here and like play Angry Birds on my phone like all day because it's so beautiful in here. I'm really happy with the way it came out. I was happy that I found this rug that really kind of just pulls all the colors together. Even kind of the bluish gray from the floor tiles that I put down. I mean, it just really came together for me. And I, I'm really super happy with the way it came out. Definitely my favorite bathroom of the house. <laughs> Let's put it that way. So the inside and I'm really super excited to show you the outside but what I'm gonna do I'm not gonna start with the front actually you know what maybe I will start with the front because I, I kind of really dig it on the back I really really am excited about that so here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna start out here and I made it nighttime so that you could see all the hard work that I did to put the lights on there. Each one of these, I don't know if you've done the lights before, but each one of these is a different, oops, I'm locking up, is a different strand of lights. And each one of these is another one. And so it's like extremely time consuming. Like each one of these little pieces here is one light and I put all of those up. Not to mention getting up there I had to I got the big scaffolding before the sled was set and I still wasn't high enough so I had to like build these steps out um, using paving slabs in the air basically to get up there so that I could put these Christmas sets on but I'm really super happy that I did it because it looks so awesome and I love it. I'm really excited about that. The sleigh I was disappointed at first because if you just stand on the side of it like this, you can only stack things on the seats, on this 
the seat here or on the, the bench in the middle. But what I discovered... Whoa. And let me see if I can do it, actually. Here we go. You get up on the back of the sled. You can place things down inside the sled. And that is really super awesome because I've even tried to use this in other videos and tried to get plants to go in here and stuff like that and I could never do it and I finally figured it out today so I'm super excited about that. So yes, you can fill a sleigh with gifts in your front yard on House Flipper. How about that? Okay, so I'm really happy with this. I put my nutcrackers there. I don't like nutcrackers, but there were no, like, elves or anything like that to put in there, so... And I still have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of plants to plant and stuff. Yeah, this is not done by any means. <clears throat> but, uh, oh, the lights are really bright on these Christmas trees, so I generally have them turned off just because I think it kind of takes away from the rest of the lights. I don't know. They're, they're just really bright. I mean, if you look at them, I just, I think they're too bright. They're almost like big round circles. They're like bigger than these lights here. So, I don't like them. A little snowman hiding up here, and this! I have a sign like this on the other side of the house as well. I absolutely love this. I don't know who the artist is, but kudos to them, because this is super funny. Um, I'm sure, for those of you who don't get it, if you look at it long enough, you will get it. The reason I put this on the front of the house and on the back is um, because this is the first in the series of my 12 Days of Christmas houses. So this is house number one. It gets the partridge in the pear tree. Um, and God bless the little partridge. I hope he's not too hungry because he should just run away right now. <laughs> but I really enjoyed the picture. I thought it was super cute. And I was like, that's going on my house somewhere. And it... I decided it deserved a front row seat, so that is the front of the house, and I also did this side, and then I got tired, so there's like, there's nothing else up top. <laughs> this is the last I decided to climb up and build staircases to get up there, because it was really difficult. I couldn't get the lights to go all the way down this way like I had on the other side, and it was just very frustrating. And I think, all in all, it it looks okay. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's, it's cute. I like it. I like the stars. I really kind of wanted to draw attention away from that monstrosity up there. Because once I had it up, and I didn't like the way it looked, I didn't feel like climbing all the way back up there and taking everything down. So I just kind of left it there and thought, it's Christmas, and there are lights, and nobody's really going to be that picky. So we come around to the back, um, and I did some just regular flower pots out here um, to kind of pull the eye. And this, I think, is by far my favorite area in the whole game. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. I built the porch back here. This is just grass back here. And the way I did that was... I stacked, if you can see them, I'm not sure if you can see them since it's dark out, but I'll try to show you. Just the garden slabs, the um, paving slabs, Just I just stacked them up and put them together high enough so that I could put garden stairs in, and then these are in the fences. And they just, you know, kind of look like railings. There's different sizes that you can put in. So I was really, really happy with the way that came out. And we, this is just like a... These are painting slabs. This is like the deck composite in black. Um, you can find them... Whoops. They would be in the garden section under surfaces painting slabs, and then if you scroll down a little bit, I always use the biggest ones first, so they're these, and I just made the board and the outline black, and 
that's basically what that is. I know it looks kind of brown, but that's all right. I mean, it, it, it works with the lanterns and everything. Again, with these Christmas trees, like, look how bright these lights are. I, I really wanted to leave them on, but, like, they're just super, like, is it just me? Or, like, are they, they're really, really bright. So I, I like have to turn them off because they're they're so distracting when I'm like looking, you know. Because a lot of times when I'm when I'm doing a yard or or a room or anything, I'll step back to take a look at it, and those trees were just so distracting. I was like, I'm going for this cool, good vibes, you know, peaceful little area here, and it's like, you know, the trees were just they were monstrous. They were just really bright. So, I'm going to do a lot more planting back here, and I am going to do um, probably a fire pit and a grilling area. May or may not do a swimming pool. I really don't want to do that, and I don't think I really need to for a holiday episode. So, a um, little back patio here, put some bikes and things like that. I put some benches and a little table. I thought that was really cute. Like. And you just want to kind of come out here and chill. You know, you've got to have your bikes out here. <clears throat> you got the little bench. And these, I did this um, stacking thing again where I just took these, these paving slabs and stacked them up as high as I wanted for this one and sold them and then stack them up for this one and then sell them, you know. Um, oh, and there's our little dragon and partridge friends again. And that leads us back into the Christmas room, or the sitting room, I should call it the sitting room. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I really am having a lot of fun creating this house, and this is just the first of 12 episodes, so please, please, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can get all 12 days of Christmas. This is number one. If you were impressed by this, please, please, please share it with your friends. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, and I really enjoy this, so please subscribe and tell your friends. Thank you so much, and happy holidays, everyone.